Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickham and this is Cardiology Seminars uh, brought to you from Houston, Texas. Uh, we have more than 160 lectures on cardiology subjects on our YouTube channel and you're welcome to browse through them at your leisure. The focus of presentation today is going to be Heart Sounds Basics. S1, S2, S3 and S4. In the next presentation, we'll talk about heart sound variations and heart murmurs. So let's begin with the heart sounds. What do these sounds mean? Where do they come from? What causes these heart sounds? What changes these heart sounds, their quality, their duration or their intensity? Let's focus on the basics. There are two main heart sounds. The S1, which is caused by the closure of the mitral and the tricuspid valves. Most of these sounds are produced by flow of blood across the heart valves and structures. If there's no blood flow, there are no heart sounds. When you listen to the chest, you don't hear heart sounds. You need to think about either cardiac arrest, pneumothorax, or severe COPD or anything that is muffling the heart sounds. S1 is produced by the closure of the tricuspid, tricuspid and the mitral valves. S2 is produced by the closure of the aortic and the pulmonic valves. S3 is produced during rapid ventricular filling in a failing heart with an elevated left ventricular and diastolic pressure and S4 is produced by the atrial contraction predominantly by the atrial contraction against an elevated left ventricular and diastolic pressure. The quality of these sounds can change depending upon the valve structure, the heart rhythm, the blood flow across these valves. For example, if you have aortic stenosis, the aortic component of the second heart sound may be delayed. The quality of the aortic second sound may be muffled due to thick non-mobile aortic valves. So let's move on to the second part. Where do we listen to these heart sounds? Aortic sound is pretty loud. It is heard all across the precardium and so are the mitral and tricuspid sounds. However, the quality of the aortic sound and the splitting of the second sound is best heard in the second right intercostal space. The pulmonic sound is pretty soft and the only place where you really can hear it well would be the second left intercostal space. At the apex we hear the mitral sound best and we also hear the mitral murmurs best in the fourth or the fifth intercostal space uh, along the anterior axillary line and sometimes they can radiate to the left axilla. The tricuspid valve sound is best heard and the murmurs, ori ori murmurs originating from the tricuspid valve are best heard in the right lower sternal border. If we are focusing on a particular heart sound, so these are the areas you need to keep in mind. For generally listening to the heart rate and rhythm, you can just listen to the apex where you're going to hear the typical Let's look at uh, the origin of these heart sounds. This first heart sound is produced, as I told you, by the closure of the tricuspid and the mitral valves. And this happens when the left ventricular pressure rises above that of the left atrium and that's when the mitral and the tricuspid valves close producing the first heart sound and when the aortic valve closes we hear the second heart sound producing There's a third heart sound, as I told you, occurs in the early phase of the 
rapid ventricular filling and that is right close to the second heart sound producing a sound like and since heart failure is more often associated with the rapid heartbeat it begins to sound like it's like a galloping rhythm that's why it's called the galloping rhythm when you hear a rapid heartbeat with the that means you are dealing with uh, a third heart sound which signifies uh, left ventricular failure. On the other hand, S4 is produced by the atrial contractions, predominantly the left atrial contraction. And this is produced when there is an elevated left ventricular end diastolic pressure in patients like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or hypertension. And since the atria are contracting vigorously to move the blood into the left ventricle, it produces the S4. So it could be like So the S4 is uh, related to the atrial contraction. And of course, there is slight variation between the mitral and the tricuspid valve closure and similarly the aortic and the pulmonic valve closure which we will cover with the heart sound variations in the next uh, video before i conclude i would like to invite you to get a free copy of the cardiology rounds manual which i have created by just sending me an email at drnicknickum at gmail.com and this is part of the cardiology seminars and as i said we have more than 160 lectures on cardiology topics you can watch them on our youtube channel thank you so much for watching this presentation in the next presentation i will talk about heart sound variations and heart murmurs